Hello there and welcome back. Today we have a fight between Hank Henshaw, Cyborg Superman, and Thanos. So let's just get straight into this. Intelligence. Thanos. No question. Um, a guy who's been, I think, alive for well over a millennia. Considered amongst the smartest people in the entire universe. Right? Um, I think he's a master in all fields of science and technology that I would say is above that of what uh, Cyborg Superman is tactics Thanos is also known for being a great tactician uh, if I'm not mistaken he's probably amongst the best in the universe and I believe he's saved and I think Geo Josh I remember him saying that he has saved and destroyed the universe more times than anyone else in Marvel comic book history and he saved it through his own, of course, you know, tactical ability and, and strategic and strategic prowess, strength, or no fighting ability. Thanos is also a very skilled combatant. Again, over the millennia that he's existed, right? Um, I would say he's a far greater fighter. Not to mention, uh, martial arts or hand-to-hand -hand combat is enlisted as one of Cyber Superman's traits. He's again more like Superman, just a brawler. Strength. Now, I know that most people probably would say that's a bit questionable, and I can understand that. But Cyborg Superman is around Superman strength level, if not slightly greater. Throw in the fact that he's augmented by I don't know how many Green Lantern rings that overall contribute to his enhanced physical capabilities. Speed. Um, if we're to look at Green Lantern speed feeds, he can fly near the speed of light. So can Superman. Far above what Thanos can do. Durability. In this fight, it's all about a fight to the death. In that case, Thanos wins because he technically cannot die. He can only be knocked out or incapacitated briefly. Healing. They both have healing factors. Uh, to me, this is a, I'm going to give it a slight edge to to Cyborg Superman based the fact that Thanos' healing isn't really regarded as one of the best. It really isn't. Superman's, as long as within, a, uh, uh, within the range of the yellow sun can absorb yellow solar radiation, uh, his healing factors are... I'm not sure if it'd be instantaneous, but it's much faster than what I'd expect from Thanos. Invulnerability. They can both generate force fields. So when it comes down to it, which field, force field is more powerful? And that's Thanos's. Anyone, anyone who can create a force field that can take the blast from a ticked off Galactus is, I would say, is above that what a Green Lantern ring can potentially output. Energy projection. Energy projection and versatility. They, these two are, are going to be most likely hand in hand. Like it'll be a two for one special. Um... I'm going to go for energy projection. I'm going to go with Green Lantern. Because he's got Green Lantern. He's got Green... Or, uh, not Green Lantern. I mean Cyber Superman. He's got Green Lantern's abilities plus Superman's. So, energy projection versatility. Go there. X Factor. Thanos is beating people about as powerful as Cyber Superman, if not more powerful. Again, this is against someone who's gone against Thor, Than uh, Thor with the Power Gem. I think Champion of the Universe. Tyrant. Hulk. Drax, a, a much more powered up version of Drax, not the one that we have today. And that's not an insult, that's just me being objective. right? Anyone who knows Drax from, I would say, during the Infinity Gauntlet run probably knows what I'm talking about. Um, and... Yeah. He also, I think he's always still, like, beaten Silver Surfer and battered Black Bolt, so he's done a lot. He's beaten a lot of the more supremely powerful beings within Marvel. I would say Cyborg is definitely within that range of being, like, supremely powerful compared to other heroes, right? And villains. So, I'd have to say Thanos more or less probably has the edge in this fight. So, um, that covers this fight. I hope you enjoyed it. I know this was quite a quick one, but, um, 
I think this fight, again, was more or less rather easy to do compared... As, as I've done more of these fights than I've slowly come to learn, um, it's been a lot easier, right? Um, obviously, I've prepped a little differently now. I have their Wikipedia set up before I even record, so things are a bit more smoother. And um, I also go off what I know of the characters, right? Or from what I've seen or heard. So, um, yeah. Anyways, um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you'd like, subscribe, like, and share. Um, I hope uh, you have a great day. And um, the next video will be the final fight of my initial phase of content. And then after that, of course, um, after seeing all the comments... And whatnot, I will, of course, proceed to release more in the future, but I'll probably take some time off just to see, of course, what I can improve upon or help uh, if I can do other things outside of these battles. So, uh, of course, I've talked about before, I've talked about doing reaction videos. So, uh, I'll see if I can do more of those in the future. But yeah, so again, um, thank you for watching and have a good day.